Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson on acid, bases and salts. So let us quickly have a look at some of the questions. Question number one. State differences between acids and bases. Now acids and bases are just like opposite to each other. Most of the things are like different from each other. So we start with the taste. Acids which are sour in taste but bases are bitter. Acids they are not soapy to touch but bases are soapy in touch. That is why bleach, uh, washing soda, soap they are all basic in nature. Acids they turn blue litmus red. Uh, bases they turn red litmus blue. Just the opposite. Acids with turmeric indicator, there is no change in color, but bases, they turn dark red with turmeric indicator. With China rose indicator, the color of acids changes to dark pink, whereas for bases, it changes to green. So the behavior of acids and bases are completely different uh, with all the indicators. Question number two. Ammonia is found in many household products, such as window cleaners, it turns red litmus blue. What is its nature? Now, red litmus blue. Who turns red litmus blue? So, blue, B for blue and B for basic. So, it is obviously basic in nature because red litmus is turned blue by in, in case of basic solutions. Question number three. Name the source from which litmus solution is obtained. What is the use of this solution? So litmus is nothing but a dye which is obtained from the lichens. And the lichens are found on the bark of trees and they are a symbiotic association between algae and fungi. So in this association both algae and fungi are mutually benefited. So how do we use litmus? It is used as an indicator to check or to test the acidity of a substance. For example, if you take different substances like uh, uh, lemon, soap, sugar and you perform the litmus test for each of them. So you will see that by looking at the change in color of the litmus paper, you can decide which one is acidic, which one is basic and which was in, which were, which is a neutral. Question number four. Is the distilled water acidic, basic or neutral? How would you verify it? So distilled water is pure water and it is neutral because water doesn't behave like an acid or a base uh, continuously. So how do we test it? Maybe we can use the litmus paper as an indicator in this case. So when you put the litmus paper, both the red litmus paper and the blue litmus paper in distilled water, there is no change in color and that proves that water is neutral. Now you could have checked it even using other indicators like the turmeric test or the china rose indicator so in any of these you would have received the same result question number five state true and false for each of the statements nitric acid turn red litmus blue so this is acid and acid turns blue litmus red so this is false Sodium hydroxide turns blue litmus red. So sodium hydroxide is a base and the base turns blue red litmus blue. So this is again false. Sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid neutralize each other and form salt and water. So sodium hydroxide that is NaOH and hydrochloric acid that is HCl, they undergo neutralization reaction to form NaCl plus H2O. So this is absolutely true. Indicator is a substance which shows different colors in acidic and basic solutions. Yes, of course, and that is why that substance is used as an indicator to test which is acid and which is base. Tooth decay is caused by the presence of a base. Not really. Why is tooth decay? Why does tooth decay happen? It happens due to accumulation of food particles inside our mouth. What happens when food particles get accumulated? The growth of bacteria. And what do these bacteria do? How do the bacteria uh, spoil our teeth? So bacteria, they release some acids which actually cause tooth decay. So tooth decay is not caused by base but it is caused by acids. So this is false. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. 
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.